Hello guys, it's Tennille from Paper Milkshake and thanks for joining me here on my channel again. I hope you're all having a really good weekend. Um, I was inspired by Ara at the Paper Treasury, who I think in turn was inspired by um, Anna at Ephemeris 32 to make these little like circular paper pom-poms maybe you can call them I don't know but um I don't think Anna well Anna doesn't have a YouTube channel so I don't think Anna has a tutorial on how to make these so Ara ended up winging it and I also ended up winging it <laughs> and making sort of my own version of these baubles and I think they're really cute and so I thought I would turn them into little charms as well I've got bits of beads like these little heart beads are from my gorgeous friend Emma at Project Sparkle and she sent me some of these heart beads um on top of everything she sent me as part of the um iso crafting collab kit i got that completely out of sequence but um she sent me she sent me a box full of beautiful beads in other words and i just wanted to show you guys some of the charms that i made and i'm going to also show you how i'm going to attach them to a couple of rosettes and bits and pieces today so i've made three that are very similar so these are the three they don't have the paper beads hanging on them um they're just purely like plastic beads and i just think they're so pretty and cute and i had some of these leftover little baby tassels from a maggie holmes collection i think it might be gather or chasing dreams i can't honestly remember which old maggie holmes collection they're from but they're super cute so they're those four then another one without a paper bauble ended up being really, really skinny, but I have some beautiful beads that I wanted to use for this little tassel. And all the rest of these are the, the ones with the actual paper baubles on them. Super cute. And I've just put a little like O-ring on top of them, ready for attaching to my projects. That one there, it's got another little tassel on it. And this one's really pretty. It's got a actual iridescent um, bead on top of it. And because I've loved this project, like these little charms so much, I decided to send some of my favorite beads to Alicia as part of the My Favorite Things collab, which I think will be posted coming up soon. You'll probably be watching this video before. She does her unboxing video or before you get to see the unboxing video but that will be launching in august so keep an eye out for that there are all the beads super cute i love how these paper baubles turn out so i think i'm going to be making more in the future and adding them to my charms now i have made some rosettes um, that were part of a collab as well a rosettes collab and these were sent to me these rosette bases were sent to me from um stephanie at sweet crafty girl and i have filmed a craft with me video showing you how i made these rosettes um, and i will also be posting them that video shortly and then i have a couple of other sort of embellishments that i think we can add um the little charms to and these are also part of the kit that um Stephanie has sent me and I've just made my own little rosettes embellishments. So I'm just going to start adding some. I don't know if I'm going to be able to add a charm to all of these, but I think we could at least do perhaps these three. So let's give it a go. I don't have my eyelets on me, but I don't think that's really necessary at this point. I think that little one will go really well. Yeah, it will. Beautiful baby. Just got my little YouTube music playlist going on and I haven't heard this Dave Matthew Band's track in a long time. So one of my favorite Dave Matthews Band tracks of all time, American Baby which came out shortly after the 9-11 attacks. Gorgeous song, really good song, really patriotic. There we go, I've added the little charm to that. Just wanna maybe get rid of this little annoying little thread that's hanging off. There we go. So that's cute. 
throwing a little dangly charm off that. And I think because we've got some acetate on this piece, we should use up this one with the iridescent bauble. This one could be a bit tricky to punch a hole into, but let's try. Yeah, we'll be fine. We will be fine. There we go. Got a little heart in there, a little hole in there. Not bad. That's really cute, actually. I've never added a charm to a rosette before, but I quite like that. I think because it's already a very, very chunky rosette, um, adding a charm to it doesn't really overwhelm it too much more since it's already so chunky. So I quite like that, actually. And then lastly, this rosette. Again, just trying to work out the positioning on where I should put this charm. be a bit tricky actually I may hang it off the uh, the rainbow here yep I'm gonna hang it off the rainbow and I think I'm gonna add this one because I think the little mint green will go with the the leaves on that flower that's behind all that layering just peeking through there There we go. So that's the finished projects. Um, I quite like actually how those charms are hanging off the rosettes and the embellishments. Super cute. It's all uh, coordinating because these are all sweet story, making home sweet story embellishments, and all these charms are um, sweet story themed as well. Just use some leftover sweet story paper to make these circles now. I don't intend to film a tutorial video, but I can to show you guys how to make this paper or how I made this paper um, baubles. Um, if you do want to see me film a video on how to do it, a little tutorial, just comment below and I will keep an eye on the comments and film one accordingly. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next weekend. Bye guys.